fuck's sake! Get out that ride, homie! You step foot in this yard. Why? It's half my house. Now, I'm going to call the police. For what? Disloyalty, boy. Disloyalty? What is you talking about? Don't act like you don't know what it is, homeboy. Yo, you ain't been to the set, ain't came to none of the meetings. Mm, hanging out with old men, ignoring your homies, acting all superior. Your mama will turn over in her grave, boy. Mm -hmm. So you giving me a lecture about not being a good enough gangbanger? Gangs is positive. That's all we got, my nigga. That's our heritage. Ain't nothing positive about your crazy ass. Man, where Tanisha at? She got more sense than to hang out with your sorry ass. You know you always been like this, boy. I say left, you say right. I say become a doctor. You say become a patient. I say, who is that? Hello, Missy. Wow, Franklin. You never told me that you had a sister. I'm Denise, Franklin's housemate. And aunt, my mother's old dried up ass Shut sister. Shut the fuck up. Yeah, shut the fuck up! Here, darling, why don't you go get yourself something nice, okay? Oh, thank you. <laughs> is, is this seven dollars? I said something nice, not expensive. You want to be a greedy fucking cow, huh? No. Now get the fuck out of here, all right? You men are all the same. Man, what the fuck you doing here? Here with the boy. The boys. What? I'm fucking new in town. I'm making friends, all right? Now let's party. Look, I had plans on getting some rest until this clown and my aunt came and fucked that up. My nigga, I just came over here to holler at you about the little thing. Man, I said I'm tired, dawg. What fucking thing? I love things. I'm the king of things. I ain't talking to you, homie. Hey, let's go do something about the thing, okay? What thing? I'm talking about the little stress thing, man. Fucking beautiful. Perfect. It's a gangbang. Let's go. Come on. Oh, come Who on, is this man? fool, man? What is this nigga? Man, just come man? on. Where's this thing happening? Down Grove Street. We shooting shit up, spraying some motherfuckers. I can drive by with the best of them. Behave yourself, man. Lamar, what's happening? What you and stress set up? We buying weight, homie. Something that'll move us up the food chain, nigga, for real. Not this real in this town, nigga. Particularly where you and stress concerned. Man, this is an investment opportunity. You got to speculate to accumulate. Ooh! First rule of business. Hey, since we're out here banging, either you got some dust, Fool want to get butt naked? <laughs> I'll get whatever it takes me, homeboy. Homie live up here. 
Hey, look, everybody be cool, man. Lamar about to do his thing, all right? Courier service. Packets to collect. You got the grip? Present and accounted for. <laughs> you like that, huh? Sample? <laughs> now we talking. <laughs> 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 My throat getting numb already. So we good, nigga, right? Well, let's go. How about a taste? No, man, we leaving. I want a taste of the other side of the brick. Now, you heard what your boy said, you're leaving. Hey, give me, give me the... Give me the... Back. Whoa. What the fuck? Did we ask for a key or a fucking ounce? Man, that's motherfucking drywall. Hey, we got some motherfucking buyer's remorse out here. You can't fucking hustle a hustler! Fuck off! Ah. All you motherfuckers are dead! Get out of the hole! We gotta get off Grove Street! God damn, man, fucked up! We gotta walk! Just a few homeboys in the hood! Nothing to see here! Put them down! Chop, save them! Run, chop, run! We rolling, man, we rolling! They're ganging up on me! Ain't no brain to Took me for a moment. Excuse me, gentlemen! Oh, shit. Ah. Me, fool. Let's clear out! Die, motherfuckers, die! Ah. Ah. We stay here, we dead! Clap those assholes! Get them! Get them! Get them! Man, you delude. At least you got to meet MC Cliff. 
jack that motherfucker. Was that who that was? Little brush with another celebrity. They flocked too. Hey, we should like race these motherfuckers. We are racing, you idiot. Racing away from the dudes trying to kill us. I mean another time. They got sea shark races all over the city. Helpful as always, homie. Let's split, my nigga, and keep our heads down. We ain't gonna lose the cops on these things. Yeah, man, shit, we need to get to land. points. Who the fuck is this? The guy keeping you out of the gas chamber. Townley's on his way. We need to talk face to face. Warehouse off Dutch London and Banning. Oh, we can do more than talk, my friend.
gotta quit that shit, man. Yeah, I know. I take speed mostly, and look at me. Boom! Best shape of my life. Yeah. Yeah, I could still take you, sugar tits. That's because you're fucking deranged, not because you're in good shape. Hey, why don't you stick to doing fucking crunches and feeling bad about yourself, all right, pork chop? Hey, fuck you. You know, I'm beginning to think that's exactly what you want to do. Yeah. Jesus. Just said the same fucking thing to my wife. Did you see his face that last time I popped him? <laughs> Boom! Oh, ladies! God, you're an asshole. You, you back there. I know you, but you? You, I don't know. Yeah, well, until I see reason otherwise, why don't we just keep it that way? Steve, what a pleasure, bro. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He reminds me of one of those guys you see advertising pills for middle-aged men that can't get erections. <laughs> hey, Devin Weston is a very good friend of mine, so why don't you watch your tongue? Because let me tell you something, that guy gets more tail than, uh... <laughs> than a tail catcher! <laughs> I have to fucking remember that line. You, hmm. where did we meet? Nowhere, pal. Yeah, we did. Hey, oh, what are we doing here, huh? This. Please, keep the sleep best of the way from me. No, 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 Ferdinand, he's gone. He's gone. It's okay, I've got some new friends here now. No, this okay. is Michael, and this, this is Trevor. No. Now, our friend here, he claims he doesn't know I anything. Don't, I don't know anything. I don't know, I already told nothing. Nothing, I don't know anything. Please, please, sir. You know about the Azerbaijanis? Huh? Azerbaijanis. I do audiovisual, hi-fi audiovisual. It's top man, good price, VIP. You know? So, You're so. a fucking spy. <laughs> and the asswipes at the agency know this. No. So I need to know. What did you tell them? And what did they tell you? I, I, told, hmm? them, I told them what I tell you. Uh-huh. What? I. Hey! This whoa, 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 what is this? The house in Rockwood Hills. The man who owns it. He works at the consulate. Oh, that's all I know. That's it. That's it. That's it. I go. You're gonna make him speak. No, 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 no. You two are gonna drive up to Rockford Hills. No. And when we find out which man is the man with the problem, you put him down. No, 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 no. Because I'm tired of these fucking nitwits at the agency taking all the glory. Go. All right. Fuck is all this, huh? I think it's a good time, buddy. You know, go for a drive. You get to work, and uh, I'm not here. It's Caesar's place, round the corner from your house. The more I see of your boss, the more I like him. I was you, I wouldn't be so critical of who others associate with. So is he gonna be a problem? For sure. But there's nothing we can do about it. If something happened to him right now, I'd be right under a microscope. An electron microscope of bureaucratic shit. And that would make it very difficult to keep old secrets. Oh, well, boo-hoo-hoo-hoo-hoo for you. You know who else is having trouble keeping secrets, asshole? Me. After you brought Trevor in on this. I only brought him in after you put out your press release. Townley's taking scores again. The Los Santos reboot. If we didn't control the situation and he'd unearth this connection, then what? Then Trevor flips out, beheads me, kills my family, or raises them as his own. I don't know which is worse. Anyway, any of that could happen at any time. Slow down. Let's think this through. What does he know? He knows I'm alive. He knows I got money. And now he knows I'm working with the FIB. Does he know how long you've been working with the FIB? How long? The fuck does that matter? Either you were working with us. Stop! Before the cash depot job, you walked your crew into an ambush. One of them spent 10 years on the run, and the other landed in a federal penitentiary. Or? Or? We stumbled on the cash depot job. Brad went down, you went down. Trevor got away. The FIB cut you a deal on your sickbed, faked your death, and you end up here. Who's to say which of those is true? That there's any doubt probably accounts for you being alive. Back there, 
Trevor made you right away, the second he saw you. You remember after the bust, I was in all the papers. I was on the evening news. The man who killed Michael Townley. Yeah, I was quite a trophy. A good head to hang on your wall. Back then, sure. Not now. This is bullshit. This place? Davey, they've been shooting the real cunts of suburbia here the last few weeks. No way that's your guy. Shit. You are kidding me. I'll call Steve. Wrong house. This guy isn't our guy. Okay, okay, okay. You sure you don't silence him just to make sure? If we're silencing someone, we're silencing the right someone. Get me another address. I got it. Can I get you anything? Hey, you want a coffee? Some water. Turns out that was the wrong Azerbaijani. We need a new address from Mr. K. Choose your instrument and go to work on it. Where do we start, eh, buddy? Uh, wait. What are you talking about, the wrong guy? No. Who do you want? Just tell me what you want. Huh, man? Huh, please. Look at me, please. There'll be plenty of time to try all of them. My teeth are perfect! I just have them laser! Not the pliers! talk is to stop him being able to talk. That hurts too much! <laughs> Mr. Phillips, ask him about Tahir Javan. What didn't you ask me? I know it's here. I did his home theater. He lives in too much. The ride on the Western Highway. Well, that wasn't so tough, was it? Huh? Oh. <laughs> Did you get that? Did you hear him? Lives in Chumash, the Western Highway. Chumash, you're driving. Remember, terror does not take coffee breaks. <sighs> what a dick. <laughs> So how are Steve and Trevor getting along? Seems like a productive relationship. You know, like I said, he's got his uses. And as you can see, we're trying to take full advantage of them. Then what? This thing with the agency gets put to rest and we don't need you anymore. Right. And what about Trevor? What about him? I need some resolution, Davey. You let him walk. You said you'd clean the whole thing up back in North Yankton. And you told me it'd be a clean job, no casualties. There were more eyes on that town than they needed to be. Yeah, well, according to my eyes, Trevor's your problem, Dave, as much as he is mine. He's not a problem at all. We're monitoring him. Has he said anything about Brad? Fuck yeah, he has. Plenty. I keep changing the subject. You know, he thinks you might actually commute Brad's sentence when this is all over. That's good. Fine work. We'll send another letter. We'll send another letter. It's about time anyway. Oh, so that's you who's been sending those fucking letters to Trevor, huh? Yeah. He thinks they're from Brad, who he thinks is locked up in high security and not, well, not six feet under in a grave marked Michael Town. The trainees write them. It's a good exercise. Yeah, the fuck. How'd that get started? A few years ago, a letter came to the federal prison system addressed to Brad. It wasn't signed, but it gave a P.O. box in Sandy Shores. I played the part of Brad, and we started a correspondence. Yeah, thanks for telling me, Davey. I was doing you a favor. Didn't think you'd want to know he was in the same state. This'll do. All right. Find out who we're looking for. 
Yeah, we need a description of the target. Yeah, uh, I'll take care of it. Loosen him up. No, no, please. I tell what? you what Loosen you him up. No, no, please. How many vaults do you think they got running through these things? Not the clips. Not the clip. Or you will kill me. My heart. <laughs> Yo. He's cooked! Quit! Ah! Look at the chub in his pants! Hey, 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 hey! Now? Huh? Now? You ready to talk? I've been ready to talk since the day I got given up. The secret picture. That's what we were afraid of. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. This guy we're after, what does he look like? I was built. I was like middle age. Yeah, yeah. It sounds like you're stalling. This better be enough. Middle age, middle height, middle build, whatever. He's dark, okay? He's Azerbaijani, for God's sakes. Look around. That enough for you? We're live. You see anyone down there who might be an Azerbaijani? Fuck do I know? You might be an Azerbaijani, for all I know. What's one look like? They look Eastern. Half this town looks Eastern, Davey. You got the fall of the Shah and the collapse of communism to thank for that. Anyone stand out? No, they all kind of blend in. Make a call, Dave. We're gonna need some more info on this guy. They're having a party down there. Oh. <sighs> that ain't gonna cut it, my friend. Shit, shit, I, let me think, I remember. Ah! Oh, Sorry, too no. late, Trevor. Show our contestant what he's oh, won today. I remember, oh, okay. I remember, I remember. Woo! It ain't even the biggest tool in the room. What? Oh, oh, please. Oh, 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 oh. Knee shot. So what have you got for us? Hmm? We need Trev to shake up your memory again? No, 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 He's got beard. He's got beard. He's got Gucci beard. Uh-huh. I think you're making this up. No, no, I'm not. No. Yeah? I'm telling you the truth. Gucci beard? Got any beardy types at this party? Huh? Because that's all Mr. K's given us. No. You know, I'm thinking maybe we ought to just take two bullets and put them in our informants and just call an airstrike on Chumash Beach. I need eyes on that party. Pick up the scope and give me a report. Who am I looking for? Steve saying beard. What do you got? Anything specific, or is some stubble gonna cut it? Let's start at Mountain Men, and we'll work our way down until someone fits the profile. Well, there's a few beards at this party. Vinewood's full of weak chins. Place is famous for it. Damn. Beards are in fashion in Chumash. Land of beach hipsters. We need more. It's gonna be a long day until you give us some intel on our target. <laughs> He's got beer. He smokes. He smokes like a fucking chimney. I don't know. Trev, maybe one more time? Just to be sure. No, please, no. Uh -huh. I told you, he smokes. That's all I know. This is a mental battle, my brother. You gotta convince yourself you're not gonna drown. What if you get it wrong? Say this! Torture it! No! My mouth! I, I would drown! I got blood in my mouth! It's all in your head, Ferdinand! Don't worry! Yep, he comes! <laughs> Hasn't this man done enough for national security? Here goes! I'm still here! <laughs> oh, God. Mr. K. Mr. K. I don't know anything, please. Shh. Okay. He chain smokes. 
and his left hand. What's that? He changed smokes and his left hand. Ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> In these bearded guys at the party smoke cigarettes, Mr. K says he smokes like a pack of two a day. Redwood cigarettes? Thank you, Mr. K. <laughs> Steve's telling me he chain smokes Redwoods. It ain't the cigarettes that'll kill him. It's the guys who put the warnings on the packets you should worry about. And he's left-handed. Oh, now I get it. You're telling me to assassinate a guy because he's got facial hair, a cigarette, and he's left-handed. I'm telling you to assassinate a guy because he's a threat to national security. The rest's details. Ah, I see someone. He fits the profile. Yep, fits it all the way. I got a good feeling. Well, as good as you can get while clipping a guy who probably don't deserve it. And now I'm taking the shot. Davey, I got someone. Definitely a lefty. Redwood smoking, bearded, maybe. Could be. Used to be. Azerbaijani. Good enough for me. Steve, it's done. Woo! That is a wrap, my friends. Excellent work to the pair of you. Now, I got a racquetball game to get to, so Trevor, if you take care of Mr. K, I think we're all set. What the <laughs> fuck do you want me to do with him? I would say he's outlived his usefulness. Oh, come on, please. Shut up! That's a sport. <coughs> let's go, come on. Wait a second, Mr. Wood. Fuck, let's just go, okay? I ain't gonna let those G-Man fucking scumbags tell me what to do. Oh, what? You just tortured me. Don't ask too many fucking questions. Let's go. Get up. Come on, up the fucking stairs. <coughs> oh, for fuck's sakes. Come on. Let's go. All right. Now you got a flight to catch. Okay? Let's get you to the airport. Oh, safety first. Hey, how's your mouth? It hurts. Can you speak? Kind of. Are you gonna hold it together? I don't want to go home. I want to see my family. No, 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 you have no home. You have no family. That shit is over. I do. They're in the morning wood. I love them very much. No, that's your old life. That's over now. You're off the grid. You're one of the invisible people. Just take me home. I'm taking you to the airport. You're gonna get on a plane. You're flying a long way from this country and you're gonna spread your message. I don't have a message. You're a torture advocate. Advocate? The media and the government would have us believe that torture is some necessary thing. We need it to get information, to assert ourselves. Did we get any information out of you? I would have told you everything. Exactly. Tortures for the torturer, or the guy giving the order to the torturer. You torture for the good times. We should all admit that. It's useless as a means of getting information. I'm feeling lightheaded. Sometimes you torture for the torturee, but only if they're prepared to pay. Departures. No one drives me to the airport. <clears throat> me. Run! You're free! Oh, what? But my family is here. Your family is probably the ones who got you fucking in here, all right? And look, trust no one, all right? You're alone now. Really? Yeah, really. Now let's go. Fuck off. Come on.
Damn, you fine, baby. So what's up, man? Sit down and face forward. Now, I don't have a lot of time. I know you need money. Did Michael tell you about Life Invader? Oh, shit. Y'all two did that? Look forward. We're two strangers having a friendly chat. And don't pretend that you liked Jane Norris. Oh, man, I don't know, homie. I mean, yeah, the dude I saw worked the child slaves. Then stole and sold everybody's private information. And even ripped his own friend's ideas off and walked around like the Messiah while doing it, but... Man, I don't think the nigga deserved to have his fucking head blowed off on TV. Oh, well, aren't you just a moral majority? You know, that's why the world is the way it is today, when a paid thug gets all namby-pamby when someone asks him to act like a paid thug and for a good cause. Man, check this out, homie. I like blowing motherfucking fools' heads off just as much as the next psychotic asshole. But I just don't look at the shit as doing a good deed. Well, now you can, because it's not fools' heads, it's assholes' heads. And not just heads, you know, trashing cars or planting lies, forging evidence, anything we can do to take the battle back to these turds. You know, we'll fix the market in our favor and we'll right a few wrongs while we're at it. <laughs> Shit, okay, cool. Right, so, you heard of Mollus? Hell yeah. Okay, so there's a new Mollus, sort of a super Mollus, and it's called Priapolds, and it's giving the living rigor mortis. Only Brett Lowry, CEO of Bilkington Research, paid off the FDA. Now, he doesn't care that his hardness pills are giving desperate middle-aged men the world over heart attacks. Damn, man, that sucks. Yeah, it does. Now, Mr. Greedy Lowry is staying at the Von Krastenberg Hotel in Richmond. Of course, he'll be well protected, but if he goes away, then America goes back to using mollusks, and Beta Pharmaceuticals gets a big bump in the price of their stock. Damn, man, all right, fuck it, I got you. I thought that you would. Now... Consider using a sniper rifle or sticky bombs. You know, whatever. Do it your way, however you want. I'm gonna make the investment. We don't speak about this or anything. Now walk away, and I'll stay here till you're gone.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face. Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some wannabe hippie waving an anti-globalization sign in my face.
Let's move it out, people! We need this area cleared! Keep your eye out for anything unusual. Let's see if we can get through one day without some water. Oh, shoot! Man, you get what you give out, Mr. Lowry. Hey, it's done. I know. Good work. All right, well, she, let me know about the next thing. Will do, uh, but before that, I've got to tell you something. Our investment portfolio is getting a little, uh, successful, so I figured we needed some tangible assets and new property, so we bought a house in the Vinewood Hills. Yeah, sure, man, whatever. You know best about this shit. Hey, and we needed someone to live there you know, for tax purposes, so some guys are moving your stuff in. Oh, shit! Meaning I don't have to live with my crazy-ass aunt no more? Man, I don't know what the fuck to say, dawg. Don't say anything, especially if a man in a suit comes to the door. Ah, I'm joking. That probably isn't gonna happen. It's yours. Enjoy it. 3671 Wispy Mound Drive. Hey, what's happening? I'm getting totally fed up with all the stupid tourists moving into my neighborhood, you know? It used to be like, oh, God. Fucking awful. What's going on, my dude? Hipsters. I hate hipsters. They just copy me. Yo! Yo, Frankie, we were just talking about you. So what are we doing here? We're working, amigo. Taking a score. Yeah, I've done most of the planning, and uh, I think we're gonna literally make out like bandits on this. Did you talk to Lester? Yeah, yeah, I called him. It's, apparently he's in the hospital having his vagina cleaned or some shit. He's got a wasting disease. 20% saved. No, that's not how we work. Well, you'll forgive me, but that's how we're gonna work this time, all right? We're doing it my way, because as I recall the last time when we did it your way, we all got shot at, you got buried, resurrected, turned into a twat, and Brad ended up in a fucking prison! Yeah, and Lester told us not to do that job, but we did it anyway. And Lester seems pretty good, man. Would you shut the fuck up, all right? And you, Michael, owe me, all right? So this time, we do things my way. <laughs> yeah, and what about after this? After this, we think about things. So what's the plan? Easy, all right? We are sinking a freighter into Los Santos Harbor, all right? Now, Daddy's little helper, you're gonna be on the bridge, all right? You're the lookout. And you, you're boarding the freighter and planting charges. Me? I'm running the deep water salvage operation with a little help from my friends. Uh, you, fat man, of course, well, you're not one of those friends. Which part is easy, though? Oh, for fuck, where'd you get the pussy, Mikey? Man, fuck you! Ah, better! I like that! Fuck you! Good! Good! All right, now let's go make some money, ladies, huh? Brilliant. 
Don't be a dick. Oh, your wish is my commando, master. Let's go, Junior. Hey, Wade, get Michael a wetsuit, or I take him to the boat. Oh. Stop dragging your heels, kid. We need some transport. Hold on. Okay, I'm taking you to the port city side of the Miriam Turner overpass. Almost forgot. Here's the rifle with a thermal scope. Almost forgot. I was kind of sold on like a well-organized job, planned out, with Lester. Hey, what? With Lester's weird eye for detail? I got an eye for details, kid. Little details like your brick of blow being drywall. Uh, okay, man. I'm grateful for that, dog. But, but buying cocaine is a whole different thing from sinking a container ship into a harbor. Uh, not really, kid. It's all about what's inside. Cool, so what's the thing, man? I don't know what it is, but I know it's important. You heard of Meriwether? Uh, yeah, maybe. Meriwether Security Consulting, the company our government uses to fight its wars and protect its shady interests all over the planet. They're the army? They're like the army, only they're private, so they cost more. Anyway, they've just been cleared to take government contracts on U.S. soil, and what's one of the first on the list? This container at the port? Exactamundo! So it's gotta be valuable, right? Anyway, it doesn't matter, because your job is not to understand, it's to shoot at people who try to stop us. I'm stopping the car in the median here. Head to your shooter's nest and call Mike. All right, man, whatever. Shit. Hey, dog, I'm in position. Let me know when you're ready. I'm in position. Damn, that's a long way up. So make sure I don't run into any trouble when I get there. Fucking Trevor. All right, I got you, homie. Hold on, there's a couple guards. These cats are shady, right? From what I read about them, yeah. They ain't no peace workers. It's clear, man. Climb aboard. Things I do for old friends. T pick four spots for the bombs. Keep an eye on me, okay? They go on their ship in numbers. Man. First bomb is planted and armed. I'm moving up to the next position. Hey, do this quick, man. I don't know how much backup they got below deck. I can do it quick or I can do it right, okay? I think there's a guy on the deck right below me. All right. I'm moving down to the lower deck. Second charge set. Two to go. Hey, if this is Trevor's thing, why ain't he doing any other wet work? Cuz, he's screwing around in a submarine. I don't know how we got roped into this shit. Looks clear. Rig the bomb. I'm going.
charge is set. I gotta go inside for the last one. Hey, come over to my side of the ship. I'll clear the entrance for you. Second gangway. Another guy. I'm on it. Sorry, pal. The door's up a level above me. Here's the door. Going in. Get back to where I can see you as soon as you can. I'm not gonna screw around in here, all right? Just tell me when you planted it. Oh shit. The alarm's gone, man. You okay? Are you okay, man? You gotta go. Bunch of guys in Port City, they caught me on a bridge, man! Sinister. 
If we knew what it was, it wouldn't be top secret or very valuable, would it? It ain't doing anything to the water, is it? I'm swimming around in this. Well, it could give you powers, turn you into infinite rage. Ha <laughs> ha, nah. Just take a shower after, you'll be fine. Say whatever you want about Trevor, but shit, he got it done. Yep, let's hope so. Hey, is that Lester? What? Hey, man, what the fuck you doing here? You should be in bed. Yes, I should be. I would be if certain known associates weren't busy making themselves enemies of the state. You know, the FIB, Merriweather, IAA, you can fuck with them all day long, but... When you try and steal an experimental super weapon and sell it to the Chinese, you and everyone you ever knew is gonna be fucked in the ass, you fucking chumps! Ho hold on, man. A super weapon? The Chinese? What? What you think is in there? I thought he talked to you. All right, man. So what now? Well, maybe I can organize to have it taken back and found amongst the wreckage. Whoa! Holy fuck, Lester Crest! Holding on and looking good, huh? Do you have any idea what you did here? Yeah, I pulled a score. What, are you jealous because you didn't get your 20%? If that thing doesn't go back, then we will all end up on every watch list in the entire planet. Watch list? So fucking watch! So they don't watch, they kill. Idiot, we'll all be dead within a week. Think! All right, listen. Take the truck, take a guy, do what you gotta do. Trevor? I'll load it up. Uh, Trevor? Great. Then you and the patient can take it all back. Right fucking now! So you mean to tell me this shit was all for nothing? Man, it's the hood all over again. Fuck. Come on, Franklin. You owe me, Michael. I am owed. What you gonna do, huh? I think of something. I gotta get Franklin some work, too. Hey, I'll take this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of mouths to feed, amigo. Tell me about it. 